Come on, Grace Church. You guys excited for baptisms this morning? Yeah. I tell you what, this is one of the, the best things that we do at Grace Church. This is what we live for as a spiritual family, is to reach people with the love of Jesus Christ, the good news of the gospel, and to help build their lives. And baptism is just a public display of what God has been doing in our spiritual family, in the lives of the people here at Grace Church. And we just absolutely love to celebrate this together. And, and baptism, what it is for everybody who's getting baptized this morning, it's, it's simply an outward expression uh, of an inward reality that's happened in their hearts, that Jesus Christ has reached in, he's rescued them, he's saved them from their sin, and he's brought them and adopted them into his family. And so now they're going public with that faith, and they want the world to know, their friends, their family, to know that my life belongs to Jesus Christ. And I'm excited to share that with the world. And baptism is such an awesome picture uh, of, of going underneath the water and having your sins washed away. You've been purified. It's like who you were before you knew God when you're getting in the tank, and then, and then you're baptized, and, and you're raised to the newness of life that God has for us. And so uh, what I want to do right now, we're going to take a moment as a spiritual family, and I want all of you in this room to, to join with me as we pray for and just bless everybody who's getting baptized today. We had seven people get baptized on Thursday night. Uh, we've got six at this service, four at our next service, and uh, five people are getting baptized in Alamance today. So God is moving. So will you guys pray with me? God, we thank you for every single person this morning who, who's getting baptized, God, who's making this public profession of faith. And God, I want to pray that you would meet with each one of them in a very special way today. God, I pray that, that you would just continue to open up their eyes, Lord, use today to help them to see, God, how good you really are, how much you love them. Jesus, that you came to die for them, to give them life. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen their faith today, Lord God that you would strengthen their hunger for you. God, we pray that your kingdom would come and that your will would be done in their lives, Lord God. We pray that your kingdom purposes would be accomplished, Lord, through them, that you would use them, God, to do great things for your kingdom, Lord, that they would be salt and light, Lord, that they would let the love of Jesus shine through their lives, Lord God, and that they would just advance your kingdom, Lord, because of the way that they live for you. God, I know that every single person has a very unique story, and we thank you, God, for meeting them right where they were, Lord, and, and just loving them so individually and so beautifully, Lord. God, just come and love on your people this morning as we celebrate baptisms. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Everybody, this is Alan, and Alan, I want to ask you two questions this morning. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? Yes. And have you made a commitment that you're going to follow him for the rest of your life? awesome. Go ahead and plug your nose for me. Alan, based on your profession of faith, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations, Alan. Congratulations, man. You can go around this way. Briley, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. I want to ask you, Briley, those, uh, those same two questions. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? And have you made a commitment that you're going to follow him for the rest of your life? Awesome. Briley, based on your profession of faith, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations, Briley. Eric, how you doing, man? You excited about this? <laughs> Come on in. Eric, I want to ask you those same two questions. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? Yes. And have you made a commitment that you're going to follow him for the rest of your life? Yes. Awesome. Well, Eric, based on that profession of faith, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Congratulations, Eric. Jonathan, man, you ready for this? Yes. What an awesome name, by the way. That's a powerful name. I mean, so biblical and amazing. Outside of Jesus, I think Jonathan might have been the most godly man in the Bible. You all read about it. I want to ask you those same two questions, Jonathan. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? And have you made a commitment that you're going to follow him for the rest of your life? Awesome. Well, Jonathan, based on that profession of faith, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations, Jonathan. Hey there, Sarah Grace. How are you? Come on in. Oh, so excited for you, Sarah Grace. Switch off. All right, yeah, I'm going to ask you those same two questions. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal Savior? And do you commit to follow him all of your days? Fantastic. All righty. Well, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Come on in, Brielle. How are you, Brielle? Awesome. Well, I'm going to ask you those same two questions. Have you believed in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Fantastic. And do you commit to follow him all of your days? Awesome. Look at this. All right. Well, based off your profession of faith, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Woo! All right, everybody, let's give it up one more time for everybody getting baptized today.